let's understand the working of the first section, which is operated by a pneumatic source. Pneumatic, or, rig air line pressure generally varies between, a minimum of 75 psi to 120 psi, is connected to this point. As rig compressor generates dry air, which is lubricated by air lubricator, thus lubricated air is a fed to the system. Because, if any machine works without lubrication, will get damage. The accumulator control unit has two pneumatic pumps. Some of the units may have more than two pneumatic pumps. The pump suction line is connected to a hydraulic fluid reservoir, and the pump discharge line is connected to, charge the system. As we know, that without a switch, no machine can start or stop. So this is a pressure switch, to switch on and off the pneumatic charge pump. One end of the switch is connected to the main hydraulic line. And the other end to the pneumatic line. The pressure switch senses the hydraulic line pressure, and operates the pumps. This is called a hydro-pneumatic pressure switch. Generally, the pressure switch starts the air pumps. Whenever accumulator line pressure drops to 90% of maximum operating pressure, that is 2700 psi, or below, the hydro-pneumatic pressure switch will sense and start the air supply to both the pneumatic pumps. When the pump gets a pneumatic supply, it draws the hydraulic fluid from the reservoir, and pumps into the line. Thus it starts charging accumulator bottles. When accumulator pressure reaches maximum operating pressure 3000 psi, the pressure switch will sense the accumulator line pressure and cut off the pump air supply.